Hey everyone, after three flights and about 30 hours, I finally made it to New York. And that was really long. My last flight was about 14 hours. But I met some really cool people. And um, I don't know how that worked, but you, I guess I do know how that works. <laughs> just synchronicities. And um, ended up just talking to one of them pretty much the whole entire time about helping him with some project that he's working on and talking about the angels and things like that. But it was long and tiring. There was a really weird guy on the plane. He kept turning around and going like, fuck you and bitch. And we're like, whoa, who's he talking to? And he would hit the TV screen in front of his chair. And we we're like, what is this guy? Like, I was worried. You never know when crazy people on a plane. I guess I've seen too many movies. I was like, we need to report this guy. You don't know what he's up to. But anyway, my two friends that I met were on their way to San Francisco, so I helped them with what they should do in their limited time, and um, usually I would sleep on a flight like that. I think I spent the whole time talking to him, most of the time, and he was hilarious, too. He had me cracking up. He kept calling me. On my last leg of my flight, almost home, and look who I've met. <laughs> Hi, I this is me. You guys recognize them, don't you? They're very famous. We just had a fabulous, fabulous time together. It's just about landing in JFK in the next five minutes, I guess. We just did the most longest haul of our journey together and spent some really great time talking and having some great conversation, lots of love. And then we just didn't realize perhaps the time that we spent would go down, uh, making us uh, some good friends and hope to be in touch with her. She's a wonderful person. And all the best. All the best. Yes. Absolutely. Namaste. Namaste. Most of the time, and he was hilarious too. He had me cracking up. He kept calling the the um, flight attendant. Like kept ringing the, um, pushing the light, and ding, ding. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so funny. But anyway, I'm really tired of traveling. It's hard traveling to something that's so far away. And now I'm waiting like a little over three hours to catch one more plane home. That's four flights. And then when I get home, I get to drive almost two hours home. So, such is my life in the travels. I'm not complaining, I suppose. I had an amazing time. It was very transformational. I learned more about myself. I had a huge shift on the last day. Um, there was like, I was really clearing myself and there was like two hours of chanting going on during that time. And I was in this amazing room the last night and um, I had a huge, huge shift, which I needed because that was a really difficult trip. There was a lot of amazing things that happened, but just in general, um, there was just a lot going on. And I don't think I ever rested one night very well. And so um, it's all part of it, of course. And um, that, that last night, having that really big shift, it's like, oh, wow, but I finally, the next morning after that shift and I, I, you know, cleared myself and cut my energy cords with everyone and cleared all my chakras and cleaned up all my energy. I felt better than I felt in I don't know how long. I felt so good after that. And um, then I was ready to like enjoy the city I was in. And, and finally I started feeling better. I wasn't not completely well yet, but that day when I woke up, I was so much better than I had been and I felt good as well. And I was like, oh, now I have to leave? I mean, gee, thanks. Um, but, you know, I was thinking about how I got sick and everything, and the message I was getting about is like, I never get sick. I never get sick, I don't get sick. I don't even get colds. So, but I will get affected by cigarette smoke and pollution, and it's very polluted where I was, so I know that's what started it. But the message I got is because emotionally I'm pretty evenly keeled. Of, of course, I'm not perfect and I will have my spikes and get pissed off here and there, but I get over it pretty quick and I'm pretty evenly keeled. And I sensed that the reason why I had to get sick is to have a way to release what I needed to release because I had plenty of opportunities to just feel stretched and challenged and maybe even upset. 
but I wouldn't bite at those. I, I just kept going with the flow and letting things be what they needed to be. So I needed something to help push, push out of me, detox my energy and my body. And so it had to come in a way of sickness because I really got sick. So because I'm pretty even keeled emotionally, it had to be a physical illness to release. Lucky me. Anyway, I guess pick your poison, right? That's just, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm back to New York. I was greeted with a real jerk at uh, immigration uh, customs coming out. And I was just like, wow, you know what? Half the time I feel so unwelcome in my own country. And that just seems to be a common thing that I don't understand. Like, I just, you know, I don't know why people have to be so nasty. And um, often I don't really feel comfortable in my own in my own country. It's just really odd. And I felt so, like, bothered by that guy because he was just being a jerk for no reason. And I believe that he's doing it because you won't make a big st stink in customs because if you do, you risk the chance of just getting messed with. And, of course, you don't want to do that, right? But it's just somebody throwing their control issues around and just not being kind. And nobody deserves that. And it just really upset me when I came in it. I mean, it's, I'm, it still bugs me right now. I'm like, why is this bugging me? Um, and I'm just sad because I don't know what's happening with the U.S., honestly. And, um, I mean, things just keep shifting. And you know what? It is a challenging time to live in, in this world that we're in because it's changing so much right now. And so much of it doesn't re resonate with so many of us. And just the, the outwardly unkindness that just is not necessary. It's not part of my reality of what I want to see in my reality. So anyway, upon getting home, I really want to take some time to have some reflection about the trip and really understand m more of why I went and what I was learning. And now, not go back to the life I was living when I left because I'm different. And whenever you take any trip like this, one of the tricks is not to go back to the life you were living, but now move forward with what, where you've been and, and how you've changed. And so many times people just fall back into that, that going back to what they, they're used to. So it means being conscious and not letting yourself fall back into those patterns. So I just want to spend some time to figure out what that is, how, I, how I've changed and how to leverage that to better my life now and what I really want, what I really want to do. So anyway, that's my thoughts for now. I'll let you go. Back to, I'm back in the U.S. and I guess I'll be catching up on things as I get back into the swing of things. But I just wanted to say hello and I'll see you all later. Bye. Get inspired and live your dream Change your life, set yourself free With Cindy Yeah, join Cindy Travel through Egypt, see the blue Nile, Sahara Desert, open up your mind Have an adventure in the deep red sea Get your dose of spirituality Get inspired, live your dream Change your life, set yourself free With Cindy Yeah, join Cindy Get inspired and live your dream Change your life, set yourself free With Cindy Yeah Join Cindy